morning everybody. This is Brittany and Manny Jaguar at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Hey Sarah E. Morning Natalia. Morning Noor. Oh boy, I'm getting silly side this morning. Morning Tommy. Hi Karen. Morning, Nicole. Yep, this is Manny Jaguar. <laughs> Morning, Judy. I was hoping he would stay and just chill. You know he can't do that, though. Morning, Rochelle. Morning, Andy. Today is Manny and Natalia's one-year rescue anniversary here at Big Cat Rescue. And both of them are so pacey and food motivated and just kind of crazy. It's really hard to show them first thing in the morning. So I tried to wait until after breakfast. So maybe I'd get a little more lazy, chilled out Manny and Natalia. <laughs> we shall see. He's trying to walk me back to his lockout. Hey, Cindy. Mary Ellen. Good morning, Ashley. Hey Deb, good morning. I bet if I walk all the way over there, he'll just lead me somewhere else. <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. But yes, one year ago today, we welcomed Natalia, our only Amor Leopard, and Manny, our only Jaguar. So we're very excited. You guys are super beautiful and handsome. Very unique. So you can see he's standing in his feeding lockout, hoping he's getting seconds. Hoping you're getting seconds. He is a Clean Plate Club member. Probably the president, actually. He eats incredibly fast. Don't eat that root. Remove this block, which is amazing because it's concrete. What's in there? Something he wants. He's gonna make some paw prints for us. Maybe I can tell what's in there from the other side here. What's in there? Can I call somebody to get? Oh, it's like a tiny, tiny little piece of red meat. <laughs> Clean plate club member. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Pam. We're here with Manny Jaguar, who was resting peacefully on his platform until I showed up, and then he walked me over to his lockout, asking for second breakfast. So we're not going to do a real long morning live today. We're just going to see Manny and Natalia. But today is cat move day. So as long as they let me know when they're moving them, I hope to come out. Um, Priya will be going on vacation rotation, which is always fun to watch. And Max and Marianne Bobcat are going to go on funcation. Now where are we going? I wanted you guys to see a little more of a chilled out, relaxed Manny instead of his usual staring right through me waiting on breakfast. He's already eaten breakfast. I actually also spent my morning wandering around taking photos of some of our more elusive cats we don't always get to see. It's been over a month since I've wandered around and taken new photos for Instagram, so I spent some time doing that this morning, which was really nice. Had some really cute moments with a few of them, so look forward to editing those and getting those up. Yeah, the downfall to not having a golf cart right now, mine's being repaired again, <laughs> is when they let me know if something's happening, if I'm not very close to it, then it takes me a while to get there. We were on 67 acres, so. Of course you go up there. And then I have to hold my camera up and I can't see what you guys are saying. But at least you can see a beautiful jaguar. 
You guys can learn about Manny at BigCatRescue.org slash Manny. Today is his one year at Big Cat Rescue. Jaguars like to attack from above, so this is a, kind of an uncomfortable position for me to be in. <laughs> it makes me slightly uncomfortable, sir. Of course, I'm pretty far back, but my camera and stabilizer, in order for you to see him, have to be up here. Isn't he gorgeous? One year ago today, I'll never forget the first time I saw Manny step out of that transport. We actually released him into the same enclosure and he was in this little safety entrance here. And I was where those trees are and watching him take his first steps and I literally couldn't breathe. I have never seen anything so gorgeous. a fun fact, Sunday. Thank you for sharing that with everybody. If you look up Jaguars on the National Geographic site, you will see our Mr. Manny. <laughs> You're making my arm tired. Yeah, I see you repositioning there. Oh, there we go. That's very sweet. is like getting super tired and I can't see anything you guys are saying. We're also gonna go over and say hello to Natalia real quick. They both came in together. The zoo they came from was revamping their big cat enclosures and weren't gonna have room for these two so we offered to take them. Oh, full belly Manny. Look at that chin. goodness that's almost too much we'll probably come back over to him but I'm gonna give my arm a rest let's go see Miss Natalia real quick it's her big day too <laughs> he's just too much well what's really funny is they they'll look really calm and relaxed like that and then before you know it they are like against the side of the cage because Smalls did that to me this morning and I got it on video. She was just being adorable and rolly and giving me those just sweetest little looks. Before I knew it, she was literally jumping at the side of the enclosure. <laughs> she was trying to play tag. Here's Miss Natalia. You know what she's doing, getting her morning steps. She's not, still not going to be as calm as Manny is right now. Some of the cats kind of get more energy after breakfast and then others, like, like we've all seen Nabisco, full belly Nabisco. Apparently Manny has those days as well. So this is Natalia. Natalia's always fit and trim and getting her steps in. She's going for it. Yeah, I didn't go live earlier today because I, I kind of wanted to let these two have their breakfast and that way we could see a little bit of a different side of them. But Natalia's doing what Natalia always does. Thank you so much, Cynthia, for your donation. It's their rescue anniversary donation. Thank you, Sean, for joining. Thank you to everybody who's sharing as well. That really does help us reach new people. Sweet lady. Try 
try and keep wire out, but she makes such a big circle that in order to show you, I also have to keep my eye on her because she's a fully clawed sneaky leopard. Yeah, she's very, very stunning. Very busy lady. Yeah, Joanne, she, actually all the cats really enjoy the cooler weather. Um, the thing with today though, is it's already supposed to be getting back up to about 70. So yes, you can donate here in person. You can um, do donations in the gift shop. There's no easy way I was gonna try to go around where it's sunny because she's just so beautiful in the sunshine on that side, but I don't think it's not an easy, quick way to get over there. Yep, she has been walking in circles from the day she got here. She's 17 years old, so my guess is from living in a zoo in captivity like that. This is just how she gets her energy out. Thank you, Janice, for your donation. Yes, yeah, she currently has, let's see, one, two, three, four. She has five um, sections that are all connected. And I would say four of those sections have these circles where you can tell that's where she walks. Girl's gotta get her steps in. She looks very good for being a 17 year old extremely rare leopard. are just joining we um, already saw Manny but I'll probably walk back over to him before I actually sign off just doing a shorter small live today because it is their one-year rescue anniversary Melissa I wish I had her energy too every morning she's like this <laughs> Joe, honestly, year-round we have success with our tours. Our cats are pretty active, uh, especially in the morning. So if you come in the summer, I would do um, morning tours versus afternoon when it gets really hot. Uh, leopards can swim, but they don't usually choose to. Tigers are really the only cat that truly loves water, like for play and for... <laughs> hunting and all of that they they like water I mean our tigers will stand out in the middle of a thunderstorm and enjoy it um, and then jaguars like water as well but I don't know if they like it you know as leisure kind of the way tigers do yeah Melissa um, our cats are on special diets that are monitored by the vets and I'm sure they'll get extra treats today um, but that'll be later today because they just had breakfast I'll probably try to go live, as I said, um, later when we are moving cats to and from vacation and funcation, as long as I'm made aware of it and I can get out there in time to see it. Christine, she's been pacing from the day she arrived, as I mentioned earlier. She came from a zoo, so most likely that's how she had to get her energy out. She was in the wild they'd roam hundreds of square miles a day but because they were born and raised in cages they've got to get that energy out somehow uh, elizabeth um, we're open every day to the public except for thursdays it's the only day we're closed and then thanksgiving and christmas day as well but go to bigcatrescue.org tickets 
and you'll find all of our tour times and all of the dates that are available. Thank you, Melissa. I hope you have a great day too. Thanks for joining. Joy, they'll start getting Christmas trees within probably the next week or so. Um, it's a very long process, so I really don't know that we'll be doing lives for it because it would be like hours and hours and hours. Um, it's very complicated for us to actually put items inside of their enclosures because there's a lot of safety measures. So we'll uh, try to get photos and if it's possible to go live or if somebody's reacting really, really cute, then we'll try, but there are 62 cats here and they all get Christmas trees, so it takes a long time. Yeah, if you guys are new to us, this is Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. And this is Natalia, our Moore Leopard. And she is celebrating her one year rescue anniversary today. All right, lady, you have a good workout. <laughs> yeah, she has water. Um, the feeding lockout right behind that, there's also another water dish um, over here in this area, because all of this is hers as well. Um, there's another water bucket and there's another water bowl behind there. Um, Natalia actually has all of this. We'll walk back over to Manny, but I'll show you her enclosure. All right, bye lady. You have fun. <laughs> so she can walk through this tunnel here over to this big bubble, another water bowl. And then you go up here. She also has this area, another feeding lockout with a water bowl, another water bucket. She has that big platform. She has a large den over there that has um, an air conditioner in it for her in the summer. So you can see she's got another circle here <laughs> so the girl, the girl just likes to mark her territory. That's what she does. She'll do it for hours after breakfast, which again, if they were living in the wild, they'd be roaming hundreds of square miles a day. But because people thought it was a good idea to breed them for a life in cages, that's how they got to get their energy out. Nothing we can do about that. If a cat was born in a cage, it can never go free. And that's just facts. So we're gonna walk back over to Manny real quick one more time since he's looking so adorable up there. Manny came in with Natalia one year ago. You can see anytime I've come out and filmed him prior to breakfast how pacey and crazy and stocky he is. He has already finished breakfast today so this is what this is what you see. But Natalia's always been more high strung. We're going. Am I bothering you? I would tell me to go away too. giving out. It's going to start getting shaky. 
You can see he's just like on the very, very top of his large platform here. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to start this over from the beginning, you'll see a little bit more Manny when he was on the lower level and he was showing us his belly. We just said hello to Natalia as well. Today's their one year rescue anniversary here at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. We just love them to pieces and thank you all so much for supporting them. If it weren't for you guys, we wouldn't be able to, you know, take in cats like this. So we give them the best life we can for the rest of their lives. So yeah, <laughs> thanks Angie. It is a short girl problem. I'm like, because I'd make a stunning photo, but no way could I climb up there to get it. So hopefully you guys got some amazing screenshots. I'm looking forward to that. But like I mentioned earlier, we will try to go live a little later. We've got cat moves today. Priya going on vacation and Max and Marianne going on funcation. So if it's possible, I will get out here and show those moves to you or at least check in with them once they get out there. So. Thank you guys, and I will be seeing you a little later. Oh, and those of you asking about Amanda, I have already posted um, updates in the Facebook group, but Amanda is doing just fine. There is no change. She's eating, taking her meds. She's in the outdoor recovery hospital like we announced yesterday. Everything's going fine. Amanda is Amanda, so thank you guys. <laughs>